Heidi hi. Hody ho. And, Wait. Um, we're going through the vowels now, so it'd be hoody who. Wasn't that the song? I don't know. Sorry, there's a Hello. song. Hello. No, there's not. I Moving don't... on. <laughs> I've never heard of this song. Fair play, yeah. Um, hi. We're back once again. It's been well. We've been very days. busy. And it's been. It's been what? Twenty-seven days. Has it? Uh, or twenty-nine days. I just looked at it on Spreaker, and I've already forgotten. It was twenty-something days. Okay, so pretty much four weeks. Yeah, we pretty much one. four weeks. But so, uh, we've been very busy. We have been very busy with real life stuff and responsibilities and things. I mean, we've been so busy that you've got old. Since we last did this, yeah, yeah, I forgot, I didn't know what the hell you were on about then, but yes, I leveled up. You did level up, and you're uh, now the same level as me. Yeah, I'm now level twenty four. Which I mean, I'm gonna say, welcome to the club. It's yeah. really not great. <laughs> Although it's not that long until you level up again. Yeah, we're so only, so only going downhill. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah. we're back. We're gonna we're right, going to that. move this to a fortnightly fortnightly thing, so that we can keep up because uh, we've both got some real life things that are in the way at the minute. Mm-hmm. But if if we suddenly get hit the big time, pay dirt, then we will. Uh, pr- we can we we have the option to move back to weekly. But for now, we do. Yeah, we're gonna put more put more focus than we have done on the YouTube stuff, and just move this to uh, well biweekly. I would say, and stuff in general, because we've been terrible at all things. Yes, yes, we have. <laughs> I we would have. love to say it's just <laughs> just we've just been terrible at the podcast, but we've sucked at everything. Everything, yeah. I don't think I've um, talked to any of our network guys for <laughs> for the I, entire month. I haven't talked but we're to. Back. Really. I and haven't talked to anyone really. I have been. Oh, okay, unless you've been very busy. That's a lie. I've talk, unless you're a recruiter. If you're a recruiter, I've talked to you a lot. If you're not a recruiter, I haven't talked to you at all. <laughs> There's some recruiters that I talked to when I first moved to Canada, and uh, haven't heard from since. So they did a shit job, didn't they? Yeah, I had one guy. This is going to sort of a random filling up our lives. I had one guy. Paul. Who kind Paul. Of... Paul is uh, between jobs. Paul is between jobs, yes. No, no, I, 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 had, I had one recruiter who I met. It was like a really positive meeting. I was like, okay. He's like, yeah, I think I can get you a meeting with some people. I think we've got some jobs lined up. Like, we can do some informal meetings out maybe even this week while you're still up. I was like, cool, wicked. I thought, so he'd rest. So this was on Monday. I was like, I'll be back on Wednesday. He knows this. Maybe I get a phone call. Didn't ring me since. So I was like, I'll send him an email. Hasn't heard from him since. So I was like, well... That's you ticked off. <laughs> yep. I haven't heard from some in two years almost. So that's great. Yeah. Are you drinking anything, Paul? Uh I'm not. I've just I've just finished oh. drinking actually. Oh, uh, what were you drinking? Uh gin and tonics. Oh, beautiful. With, with, what, a, with what gin? Uh Berliner gin from Berlin. Berliner gin? What yeah, did you think of the Ungava gin? Oh, the Unga- the Canadian. weird <laughs> um, yellow Canadian yeah. Inuit one. <laughs> yeah, like why is it yellow? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm gonna say it's just the flavorings of the earth. That was sort of. I mean, it's nice. Yeah, gin is, it, it tastes pretty much like every other gin. Yeah, I don't know why it gin, was yellow. Gin is gin. My first thought was just this is yellow. This seems a bit odd. Yeah, it's, but then it's, like, even... it's like beer in general, really. But it's not uh, fizzy, carbonated. Mm. But it's like, well, at least I don't know how different, I don't know how different they are. I don't know, I don't know how much difference, but the one over here, it was kind of... Well, it can't be that different. <laughs> it's made in Canada, no. mate. <laughs> it, was a, it was an almost displeasing yellow. Yeah, no, that, that is that is the same. But then you put it in with some tonic and you're you mm. you're dandy, mate. Oh yeah, after that you're grand. But yeah, that first little yellow you're like, is this gin 
or is or this... is it polar bear pee? Yeah, maybe polar bear pee <laughs> is gin. I was like, or is this a bodily fluid? Maybe polar bear pee is gin. You'd, I mean, maybe. I haven't seen maybe a polar so. bear or tasted their pee to uh, find out. I'm honest. I mean, like, we could probably send an email to Blue Planet. Like they they've seen polar bears. They Blue Planet. Them. Yeah, polar bears were a big part of Blue Planet. Recently. I mean, I guess they 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 swim and they do things underwater, but it would be more planet Earth, wouldn't it? True. I, yeah, planet Earth would be better. Touche. I was only thinking Blue Planet was there just on it recently because there was yeah, because it's because it's it's on at the minute, right? Yeah, there was a thing I about spent about this. half an hour trying to freaking find one online. Haven't been able to find it because I play it only available in the UK. No, there's a BBC now, Canada. Um, this may sound illegal, and it probably is. So, BBC, stop listening now. <clears throat> Can you download things from iPlayer? Um, no. Oh. It, it, it like barely doesn't. It doesn't even let me on the site. If I'm honest, it's just. Oh, like, no, sorry, to be fair. iPlayer is only available in the UK. Now I click. If you're in the UK, can you download things from? Oh, iPlayer? I have no idea. I haven't used iPlay for a long time. Shall I have a look? Because if I can, shall I see if I can download it and send it to you? Or I'll just watch it on a totally legitimate source. But I mean, you can have a look. I'll have a look. And BBC, you can start listening again. I say Hi, that BBC. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like anyone was listening in the first place. Yeah, I don't, I don't like anyone from the BBC listens to this, but if they did, that'd be weird. Can I put so, forward a suggestion to include a beverage of the broadcast? Segment? Oh, you can indeed. Just for whatever we are drinking, hence the question. It came to me right yeah. now. I love it. I mean, I am. I feel like I, I border on. Well, my family borders are quite close to <laughs> mild alcoholism. Oh, yes. I, as do I. Which is enjoyable. I mean, I'm, I'm It's having, the only way I to mean, uh, survive the winters here, if I'm honest. <laughs> It's sort of the only way to survive the boredom of being unemployed, which I never thought I'd say, but I'm quite bored. Wow. How about that? Play Cuphead. Oh dear, and Life is Strange. Haven't cried yeah. yet. Yes. Woohoo! So, You've only played it for about an hour. <laughs> yes, but it's Life is Strange. It's emotional. I almost cried. I, I, I got close. There was a bit of a, a, bit of a twinge. I was like... This is sad. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am registering that this is sad. I like, Human emotions are happening to me. It was just like, I remember this. This is great. No. <laughs> so I would like to uh, begin. We're, we're, we're nearly ten minutes in, but I'd like to begin with a funny story of something that happened to me okay, today. Me. So I got a message. I was at work. I'm about five hours behind home. So it was probably about... It was about... 11, I think. Okay. So about 4 o'clock in the afternoon um, for my folks. And I got a message from my brother saying that they'd been at the dentist and um, he had gone, he'd gone to sit down, right, as you do, mm. and then he'd opened his mouth and then couldn't close his mouth. So, so, so your he, brother's got locked your... I, well, wait. So I got a message from him saying, "Don't worry, I'm fine, but in an accident and emergency, because I can't close my mouth." <laughs> so I was like, "Okay, what the fuck did you do?" And he went, "I don't know. I, I, I sat down and opened my mouth for the dentist." <laughs> so he got an X-ray taken, and he's uh. He's dislocated his jaw because <laughs> of opening his mouth for the dentist, oh. and they couldn't oh. pop it back in because his jaw muscles were too tight. So they've sent him home again and to a specialist in Harrow tonight. First question. And this is <laughs> of many, I imagine. Of many. So is your brother still walking around with his jaw open? <laughs> yes. Yes. I've been texting him, walking on Facebook. He can't close his mouth. He can barely talk. And he can, he 
can barely swallow as well, so they can barely give him any painkillers for it. But he's, he's like, he's, he said, yeah, oh, I'm perfectly fine. It's just really annoying. It doesn't really hurt, but fuck, it's annoying. Yeah, that was... Which is why it's so funny. If it, yeah, if that, it was in agonizing pain, hilarious. it wouldn't be funny. But man, it's funny. Yeah, I feel bad for him, but this is, this is mostly hilarious. Exactly, right? And uh... um, then he's now waiting for a... Um, He's now on his way to Harrow to see a specialist to see if they can do anything about it. I mean, the good news, or to, well, I guess a, a silver a silver lining almost, is it's a good job he doesn't ride a motorcycle. Well, that's true. Yes. Otherwise, he'd just be have a mouth full of flies at this point in time. Well, that's very true. Oh, well, the other good news is that like they didn't send him via ambulance to the specialist. So, I mean, it can't be that bad. Mm. I mean, obviously I don't understand much about the biology of the jaw. But Likewise. Surely uh, an NA department slash a hospital in general has a muscle relaxer they could inject, pop it back in. Well, you would think so. This is, you know, first, just first thought. What's, what has come to my mind first is that... I just, someone could just give him a like a mouth massage. I don't really know. Just relax <laughs> it a little bit. But I think it's because he's dislocated his jaw, and the action of dislocating it is straining the muscles. Ah. Uh, I think I'm not really sure that I've only got the Facebook message. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, they said my jaw muscles are too tight to simply pop back in. <laughs> that's all I got. I mean, I'll send you the, an... the, the the first message I um. That is an excellent Facebook message. That's like, think that that's the kind of message. I think I sent the same message to my own mother when I broke my hand in second year at university. I think I was like, "Hello, mother. Don't worry. I'm in a &E. I've done this with my hand. P.S. I'm going for surgery on Friday." Yeah, yeah but that was that was a, a bit more serious. You needed fucking I, surgery. I think she then, I think she then started working. And like immediately came up. I was like, "All right, didn't have to All right, do that. All right, we'll <laughs> But uh, yeah. I'll, get, I'll read you the first two messages I got from Will. Before anyone tells you and tells you wrong, <laughs> I'm in A and E, but it's nothing serious. Looks like I'd have dislocated my jaw. We went to the dentist's, and I went to open my mouth, and I can't close it again. <laughs> <laughs> composed, composed. <laughs> so that was that was my that was my day, if I'm honest. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's just excellent. That is hilarious. Um... <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I did have to explain it to my boss, because I was on, on the phone, like, typing to my brother, like, oh, yeah, my brother's just in A&E, can I just, like, find out what's going on? <laughs> had to that's explain that to my to my boss and everything. I feel like so, there's yeah, going to be some was, sort of... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is definitely something. But there you go. There's my there's my funny day, funny story today. Mm. <laughs> Send your funny stories to uh, to us on Twitter. You now have 280 characters to do it with. Mm. Which leads me wonderfully into uh, our first seg of the episode. Seg. Uh, the news. Of the world. Yeah, I was sort of... I thought I, my first was, do a chime of, like, Big Bang ITV, and I thought that's going to be awkward at different times. But yeah, Bong. the news. <laughs> so, I guess, the, the biggest bit of news, which I feel like we... is a, appropriate is the wrong word, but, like, that I feel like we are best suited as a podcast to talk about is probably the release of the Xbox One X. Oh yeah, that happened. Um, I still hate it. Well, I don't hate it, I just think it's a waste of money. That is, okay, yeah, that is what I was, that's probably what I was implying. It's a, yeah, I still think it's a uh, huge waste of money. Although, do you want to, uh, 
I've oh. completely brain fired then. Do you want to um, oh, relay the tell... story of one of our clan mates? Oh, you mean our, our delightful friend and he get the he the one who guessed an appearance of this at one point of how he how we all you people who are struggling to get one Xbox One X he has yes, two he got two <laughs> because uh, Amazon did a bad and basically he, tr- he ordered he ordered one didn't he he and ordered on the one day of, yeah. on the day of delivery he got a message saying it was undeliverable for whatever reason and got lost in transit it was lost yeah. So he then spoke to Amazon. Amazon said, "Oh, that's our way to apologise." And as they do with most things that get lost, they're like, "We'll, we'll send you a, we'll, we'll send, send you, send you out." It'll, yeah, it'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, and then I don't guess know, what I don't happened. Know how, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many hours later is it was. How many hours later but it was? I think it arrived on time when when the delivery said it was going to arrive. Yeah, cause, cause did, but didn't the delivery tracker re-update to say, oh, we found it again, it will be there soon? <laughs> yeah, I think was, so. That but, within like, that, but within that time limit, he'd processed a, like an mm. appeal or whatever and got sent a second one. So, so one arrived as planned, and then one arrived a day later, so you got two. Hmm. Oh, fire engine going oh. past. Oh. I mean, I know he's not going to do this, but we should we should totally ask him so to see if we can raffle it off. Because no, I won't. Wow. If I'm getting one for free, I won't mind. That would that would get us some uh, popularity. Would get some people in. Yes. Yeah, Xbox One X raffle. But yeah, um, it'd be like how the hell yeah, are these think... guys with 17 subscribers and four <laughs> listeners, two of which are the hosts and our parents, get an Xbox One X. Uh, yeah, it, it would, I'll, I'll ask him. I won't ask him. I'll be stupid. Um, um, but let let us know your thoughts on the Xbox One X. Are you getting one? Are you planning to get one? Or are you like us and think it's a complete waste of money? Speaking of um, kind of following off the Xbox One X and the whole like new 4K resolution. Uh, so The Witcher Three has released a patch. Uh, so the game looks pretty in 4K, and you can play it at 60 FPS, etc., etc. Mm-hmm. Um, however, the patch is broken, and if you actually want to play it at 60 FPS and play it in 4K, don't download the patch. And it, what? And it will. <laughs> <laughs> I think the game was already at 60 FPS, and they released a patch to make it like Xbox One X compatible, but the patch has basically broken it and ruined the frame rate. <laughs> So I think they wanted to fix wow, it. Wow! Like... Did they not <laughs> test it? <laughs> I think I I'm unsure what happened. I just know that patch did not do great things for them. No, clearly. Hmm. Yes, <laughs> that's the complete opposite of a patch. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's just very odd. But that's not very. Odd. It's just bad. It's bad. Yeah. I mean, but I like. To, I, I feel like very odd. You know, it sounds a little bit better than yes, just bad. Because I still More do diplomatic. love that. Game. Yeah, because I still do love that game. It's a very good game. Ever play it? Play it. It's ex- it's excellent. Well, I haven't <laughs> got it. Oh, um, <laughs> find a friend to game show with and play it. It's excellent. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun, Paul? <laughs> Okay, so the uh, next bit of news I have, which I'm I'm, I'm chock a block, I'm loaded with news. Uh, Telltale have oh, yes. cut twenty five percent of their staff. Wow, really? Mm-hmm. Unnecessary, or are they struggling? Because I doubt they're struggling. Um, I believe it's actually it's a move they made. To help them, uh, in their own words, kind of better produce games, which is obviously a uh, is obviously counterintuitive. Hmm. <laughs> Basically, Telltale, the plan is they've so they've they have laid off ten percent of their workforce, which is about ninety employees, um, and their hope is they want to they want to make fewer. Better games with a smaller team. 
Right, I can kind of see that. There are a couple of misses, but generally speaking, Telltale is very consistent. Yes. They, they, yeah, so the, the exact statement, they've said uh, that the, the decision to lay off staff is designed to make the company more competitive as a developer and publisher of groundbreaking, story-driven gaming experiences with emphasis on high quality in the years Okay, ahead. whoa, 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 whoa. Competitive? You are the only one of that genre. You have no competition. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> they've they've monopolized the uh <laughs> the story. story chapter bit. That's that's just telltale. They have mm-hmm. no competition. Not that I know of. I I, it's, I don't I don't think I don't think they do either. Like I've never seen A really another story game and B another story game. Of that quality. In, like, yeah, or even like following that exact sort of kind of here's a decision. Because actually, the only other story game I've seen in that vein is Life is Strange. But they yeah, that's true. That's true. They've they've never they've only ever released one of the sequel to that. So that's not really a competitor. It's like it's like the fun uncle that sort of appears every now and then. Yeah, it's like that YouTuber YouTube channel you're subscribed to that puts out a video once every six months. Yes. I mean, it's it's and it's like, like it's a fan- <laughs> touche, and it's a fantastic video, but it's just just once every six months, and you're like, yeah. oh, for a and week or got... two, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. for a week or two, we lose some revenue. But it's yeah, very strange. It is. They said it won't affect any of their future projects. Do you but... think it's got anything to do with? Um, maybe they are struggling a little bit. The Borderlands thing is a free this month towards the end of November, the entire series mm. of it is free. Well, that might just See, be a coincidence. Merry Christmas to those 90 guys. Like, I would I would say they're struggling, but at the same time, they're, they're currently in the process of re-releasing an updated graphical version of all of The Walking Dead in preparation for its final season coming out. Mm. See, they, they announced they're doing another Wolf Among Us, which sent everyone nuts at E3. And they announced doing like a load of they announced doing like another sequel as well, which I've forgotten what it is, but they were they've announced games which everyone has played of Telltales and, and everyone loved is looking of Telltales. To. Yeah. So I can't see huh. like un- Yeah, because The Wolf Among Us season two coming out, Walking Dead final season, Game of Thrones season two coming out, like Oh, Game of Thrones, I completely forgot about that. For a company that's struggling, they have an awful lot of name name brands. Yes, that's true. See, I I have no idea. It may eh. <laughs> well, hopefully it doesn't affect them, but there's no way to tell mm. if it will or not until they release games with the reduced staff. Then. Yeah, I guess there's no way to know until until. Maybe until you look at the Wolf Among Us or Game of Thrones, I imagine most of the Walking Dead is currently yeah. done. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the, yeah, odd. It's kind of the best way I can put it. So, so I had one. Oh, I had on. one final bit of news, which is. Uh, Nothing, which is kind of which is nothing. <laughs> no, which is uh, which will mean little to you, but to any comic fans out there who. Oh, what listen. about your um your news? You were telling me via text. Ah, earlier. yes, two bits, ah, of news. two bits of news. One bit is um the architect of all the things kind of Marvel comics for the past fourteen years is leaving and is going to DC on an exclusive contract. Wow. Yeah. But the and, comic books uh, isn't really where DC's struggling, is it? No. But it's kind of... Although uh, they've already got Joss Whedon, I suppose, haven't they? Yeah, so, but so they're, they're kind of... It has... It's it's led to a lot of... Uh, sort of questions, is the best way to put it, within kind of the comic industry, as everyone's just like, Hold up a second. Why is he leaving? Like, there's clearly got to be a reason behind it. Um, 
it seems like he just got a lot of money. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, he got paid. Yeah, we probably got paid like millions and millions and billions and billions and billions and billions. Yeah. And then I think as much as um, as much as kind of uh, Marvel be very different now, uh, I th- it could actually be positive for them because the guy's work, who is Brian Michael Bendis, has it's become a bit stale. Is the best way to sort of put it. Uh, like it's still excellent work, but it is it's very much so. It's not the groundbreaking stuff it once was from from a Marvel perspective. Like he was the he was the man that killed the Avengers way back in two thousand three. He likes to do wacky stuff. Yeah, he is. He uh, is responsible for kind of the kind of uh, comic book industry becoming. Here's a big event every summer. Like here's like here is the comic summer blockbuster, effectively. Ah, oh. okay. Here's sort of I get what you're saying now. Putting that in at Marvel, like it was like every summer, it was like Brian Michael Bendis writes this. You're like, all right. But now I'm sick of seeing the words. Here is your summer event. <laughs> and yeah, my final bit of news, which uh, ties into. Nothing we previously talked about. Uh, there is a company out there in the world that, on digital reruns mm-hmm. of shows like Ham at Your Mother and others, I wrote an article Ham at Your Mother, um, they will go in and they will edit the product placement for films to be current day films. And it blows my mind. <laughs> so that's for, for reruns on Comedy Central and stuff. Yes. You can still pay for advertising within Scrubs. Mm-hmm. Is a... That's is, niche. Oh, entirely. Speaking, speaking of no competition, here you go. <laughs> yes. They are, They have partnered with a company called CBI, which stands for Seamless Brand Integration. And it's uh-huh. also... <laughs> Digitally altering old episodes with new products and brands. What's that, their mission statement? Which, uh... It's very, very odd. <laughs> Just kind of... Like, it's one of the things where I sort of wonder... How much... How much revenue are they getting? And from that, but how, also, how much revenue are they generating for like for a film because if I'm honest I've never really watched How Meet Your Mother and thought damn is that is that Wonder Woman I see in the background oh, I want to go watch that now yeah but it's all it's all uh, subliminal sub- subliminal it might be why you wanted to make ramen <laughs> no I wanted to make ramen because I'm a freaking weirdo yeah that's true <laughs> And uh, I think that is it for the news. Now we're about halfway through. Yeah. So we can devote half of it to uh, that little thing that happened at the weekend. Yeah. With one of the giants, one of the biggest, probably, giant of gaming. You mean our our YouTube channel? I thought we could keep it on the DL. I thought we keep that big news on the DL. So until the end, there's a last, there's like a bombshell twist. The uh, the Canadian winter. <laughs> is it LeBron leaving the Cavs? Is it the decision to? No, I didn't even know he had uh, left. If I'm honest, I'm not doing a very good job of uh, learning basketball this year. Oh no, it's like no, he hasn't. It was a thing like seven years ago. LeBron no. left the Cleveland Cavaliers, and there was an uproar, and it was called the decision, and it was like a big event. The decision. Oh dear. Yeah, I imagine if you Google it, there'll probably be a Wikipedia page dedicated I, to it. I don't really want to. I know I know what happened now. <laughs> but uh, all jokes aside, what my esteemed colleague is hinting to was uh, the... Was Blizzard. The mighty. We're yeah. talking about Blizzard. BlizzCon. Yeah. BlizzCon happened Blizzcon. in Anaheim this weekend. Yeah, I couldn't really think of a way to link that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's like I was really. No, I like, got nothing either. Let's just say it. A mighty, um, the something. Yeah, BlizzCon. They got so much money, they made their logo gold. 
but BlizzCon had some serious um, reveals and a world record. A so, world record for the biggest video game diorama, I think it was, ever. Ooh. Did you That's... watch the um, cinematic trailer for the new World of Warcraft expansion? I have watched parts of it. In that I, I, I clicked on parts of it and then been called away and then kind of gone like, Ugh, and closed stuff down. I don't know what happened. But You cut out. The bits I've seen... It looks to quite Stranger Things too. Hello? Bitching. It looks like extraordinary. You just think... cut out then. What did you say? Sorry, I said it looks bitching. <laughs> did you say you have watched it? Oh, uh, parts of it. You mean parts of it? It's only about two minutes long. Yeah, but I I clicked, I've then been called away and it's sort of gone through and then I've closed it down. You're called away, yeah. you don't have a job. Yes, but my mother is still very needy. <laughs> <laughs> Who lives with and his with two still. Dog, And with two dogs, it's just, it's a lot of work. Okay, okay, I get it. Anyway, yeah, from what did you see, from what the, seen, it looks did you see the diorama? No, but So the diorama is... The internet... The oh, you're going to look for it. It yes. is a diorama of that massive battle for Lordaeron, which, if you know anything about anything, is was the capital city of the uh, humans. Is now the capital city of the Forsaken, Sylvanas's clan of undead people. And it there was about ten thousand different figurines on that diorama, every single one of which was the player character of someone who was go who someone who played WoW and was going to BlizzCon. That thing's fucking huge. So you could you could find yeah. You could find your character. That's epic. On the diorama if you were at BlizzCon. It's very cool. That's and pretty, the trailer just looks cool. so good, and it made me play WoW again yesterday for the first time in like, well, a month. And I'm gonna, probably going to play it after we finish this. That's fair. But yeah, basically, biggest announcement from BlizzCon, I think, is next World of Warcraft expansion is going back to Alliance vs. Horde, pretty much back to the basics. Level cap raised, all etc. New dungeons and raids, battle for Azeroth. There's new, there's new races. It's, yeah, like new sub races things. I'm not entirely sure how that will work yet. We haven't even got a release date or anything, but yeah, I'm just I'm just having a look on Wowhead.com. Oh yeah, at the X of the um. Yeah, you should play that's... Wow again. We we made characters for like a little bit. I sh- uh, I can get you. Got so busy. I do. I do still need to get my sweet and beautiful. Oh, Lady Leodrin. That's the one. Which, I mean... I'll, I'll get my gripe about Hearthstone in a wee while. But yeah, yeah. Uh, it sounds... It sounds very cool. Right. So I'll be playing that, and I imagine it's going to come out probably... Summer or towards Christmas next year. It's World of Warcraft, they can release it whenever the fuck they want, and it's going to demolish anything else, so... When was the, um... When was the uh, the Legion? Taking a pint, it was called Legion. When was Legion released? I'm not entirely sure, if I'm honest. I think it did start around like the Christmas games period, so like now, and it's slowly been moving further and further back into the summer. I'm not entirely yeah. sure. Someone well, will have what, to correct me. There. Legion was released on August 30th, 2016. August 30th. There you go. So. I don't know. It's been just over a year. It'll be probably two years by the time it's uh, done. They also announced, which I'm very, very excited about, World of Warcraft Classic. Oh, I, is, I saw this. Which is vanilla, which is probably making up for the fact that they shut down all the vanilla classic servers. So, is that... I just want to... Is that effectively as simple as it sounds? 
Is that essentially what's when right? I, was that? Is that essentially as simple as it sounds? Like, yeah, for it's, example, it's a classic World of Cerberus. Warcraft without any of the expansion packs. Cool. Which with, was with when I started base, playing, and is awesome. With the base level caps, or going to? Still... No, I imagine it will be the base level caps, which is sixty. Okay. That's. I like it. It's just, it does seem kind of. It's a smart move. Yeah, it's good fun. I say, cause I, in my brief in my brief playings of World of Warcraft, it is, it's been enjoyable. Yes. So hopefully, uh, if not very least, we can go on and get your Leodrin. But yes. maybe I can convince you to uh, keep playing past that because that's when it gets good. So if I could. Uh... Once I've got a job, solved. Yeah, maybe once you've got a job. Yeah, good idea. Um, <laughs> did you I have to... a bitch about Hearthstone? I did a little bit. Go on then. Um, so, I hate what they've done for Nemzi, who is the latest uh, alternative hero portrait to uh, You Can Unlock. Yes, so they... Uh, Nemzi is a alternative hero for the Warlock. Um, to get Nemzi, you have to take part in a tavern brawl. Now, that having had a look online, a tavern brawl is obviously quite a simple thing to do. For example, if our players gone, people are running loads of them. And like you, literally, the thing with tavern brawl is you have to be close enough to people. So you are in, effectively in the same room, and you do it with someone who comes up like a far side gathering, like the, oh, this person's near you. Do you want to play with them? Like, yes and yes type thing. Right. It's just... It seems... I get what, I get the way to promote it. It just seems a tad... Uh, having had a look at this... You have, do you have to do two to kind of... To get access to Nemzi... To be able to, to, to run an authorized fireside brawl to get access to MZ, you have to run one first and then run another one. And just seems a bit of a faff, really. Like I was having a look around, like around the UK, because I was like, I have enough, I have enough effects to want this, but and it just couldn't really see many. And it just seems a bit uh, unfortunate for people who kind of either live out in the middle of nowhere in the U in the US or live in kind of live in like the UK or Europe where it's not like there's not like BlizzCon or something. Yes, although there is there is plenty of uh, like um conventions in the UK. I'm sure that'll be a use useful for and it gives Blizzard the opportunity to or the excuse to say, let's have a fucking stand at every single fucking convention we can. Mm-hmm. Oh like for that part entirely, yes. But I was just, just like just having a look. It's just sort of a bit kind of. Uh, it's just a bit. Yeah, of a it struggle. seemed like a like a faff, but. Yeah, it, which but when, when, when like once you unlock rest, it, you've unlocked it, right? Mm-hmm, entirely. But just because like, the rest, the rest of the half centen of heroes are kind of, uh, like play well out the twenty or spend money. This one just seems like, go find friends. Like yeah, go outside, here. Jesus. <laughs> I know, right? Fucking hell. Um, I don't know if me bitch about Hearthstone though. They obviously announced the next Hearthstone expansion. It's Goblins vs. Gnomes 2. <laughs> <laughs> right? Otherwise called. Uh, <laughs> close enough. Otherwise called uh, Dungeons and Kobolds, I believe. Why is I not forgetting? Dungeons and Dragons. Kobolds wow. and Catacombs, sorry. That's the one. Dungeons and Dragons play on words. Yes. Kobolds and catacombs. Um, yeah, it's a bit catchier than dungeons and kobolds. <laughs> yeah. The biggest thing they've announced for the uh, kobolds and catacombs is dungeon crawl. Yes, the PVE dungeon crawl mode, which is basically, yeah, it's uh, it's odd, as best I can put it. It's basically. It's entirely it's free, so you don't you don't have to you don't have to build any you don't have to kind of buy anything. Um, Hallelujah. And it's basically so it's it's just effectively like any old dungeon run, 
Uh, it's essentially there's about 48 unique encounters, and they've, on top of the 135 new cards, the expansion, they've also released, uh, they've also made, sorry, an additional 48 that you're only going to see in this, uh, mm -hmm. in this mode. Which, I, is a lot, I mean, firstly, it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, if, I'm going to, all the more to them, really, like, I, kind of, yeah, I, I think it could be good. I'm hoping it will be good, so that's a better way to put it. And that it sounds kind of, they haven't shown much of it off, but I'm anticipating it to be, like, uh, one of the adventures from like Karazhan and stuff and just like here's a boss, here's their hero power. Uh we hope you we hope your deck is uh balanced enough to counter this guy because the next guy will be totally different. Like ta da yeah. Um and the other kind of the other key thing was uh they ha they've announced the keyword for this expansion, which is recruit uh, which is you immediately summon minions from your deck, uh, effectively patches. <laughs> you're just gonna, you're yes. just, people are just gonna be. But see, this is where I hope they haven't made a lot of charge cards. Otherwise, you're just gonna have people playing patches decks and recruit charge and kill. <laughs> so let's hope Druid haven't done that. And then they've also the other big reveals were. Every card is getting a unique weapon. So you had unique new heroes in the last expansion. You're now getting unique weapons. Um, they've shown off two of them so far, I believe. They've shown off the dragon, the priest one, which is called Dragon Soul. You mean every hero? Cards. Every hero, sorry. I was like, fuck, that's a lot of weapons. Oh, wait, what did I say? Every card. Sorry, no, every hero, every, I would say every class. I, got my, I, I was like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I know World of Warcraft has a lot of weapons, but... 270 fuck. cards! <laughs> Sorry, every class. Um, so yeah, they've, they've shown a two so far. One is... Um, I believe it works... They work I think they work in a similar way to the card I can't pronounce that Medivh gives you. His great staff. Great and staff of Atish. Thank you, Atish. So yeah, uh, each, so it looks like each one has three charges. The priest is called Dragon Soul... Uh, after you cast three spells in a turn, summon a five-five dragon. I think Dragon Soul was actually a raid in World of Warcraft. Not a I, I imagine I got that wrong there. I'm imagining the next one is probably going to ring some sort of World of Warcraft bell to you as well, <laughs> just because it just seems like a thing. Uh, they've, they've made, they've, they've, the mage one is called a Lunith, and at the end of your turn, draw three cards. So a, a Lunith. Yes, I assume it's some reference to WoW, but I couldn't remember what it, I don't know what Maybe it is. Maybe I missed that one. How did, how's it spelled? A uh, L U N E T H. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Maybe that well, was while you... I was not playing. <clears throat> um, if any listeners know, then please feel free to get in contact with us and school James on WoW. Yeah, for now, I shall call Paul a lunatic. Ha <laughs> 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 Oh, and um, if you log in now, the final thing, yeah, if you log in now, you can get uh, you get a free card, a new legendary for the new expansion called Marin the Fox. Uh, make sure you patch your game first. Don't do what I did, and bitch on Twitter, and then we're going to patch your game. Um... <laughs> And if you went to BlizzCon or you attended or got a virtual ticket, then you will receive a gold version of Marin the Fox. Which I think my brother got, because he always got it, or gets it. Vir vir he... Virtual ticket. I think he played. I'm not sure how much he plays now. I think it's mainly uh, WoW and uh, Overwatch. Let me speak to your Once... brother and see. See if well, you'll, his, you'll have to uh... text him because he can't speak at the minute because his mouth won't close. <laughs> Let me face message your brother asking if I can uh, get his golden marin because yeah. I like golden stuff. I love 
Go! <laughs> uh, so the the next few bits of news. Uh, well, is there not more? Wait, is it more BlizzCon stuff? Is that what you're going to say? Yes, it's more BlizzCon stuff. Okay. More BlizzCon stuff. Uh, we're not really we're not really able to talk about because we we don't, don't play it anymore. Play the games anymore. First one. Uh, they announced their new Overwatch hero, Moira. Moira, who is. So I immediately thought of the WoW character, Moira, um, of the Dark Iron Dwarves, I think. I immediately thought of Moira McTaggart. Moira? Uh, <laughs> from X Men. <laughs> right. Because. It's the most generic Scottish name ever, I think. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> but weirdly. She had, oh, her backstory is all sorts of convoluted. But we'll save that for another podcast. It's her superpower. She just likes porridge oats. She doesn't. She's she doesn't have a superpower. She just ended up. Oh what? Like she ah, oh, she just ended up in some very weird jobs. Okay. In the, I'm pretty she's sure a prostitute. In, I'm pretty sure she's. Oh, I'll have to. Ch- I'll have to reread Legion. So I'll give you, I'll give you what's wrong with me quickly. In Legion, she becomes like an ambassador to Israel or something stupid. What? <laughs> I'll reread Legion and I'll update you on next week's. On, Sorry, on, that really, t- really tickled me for some the reason. Next, yeah, on the next episode. It, it, oh, like my I said, audacity has like, gone crazy from that. <laughs> it's like classic like X-Men. Nothing makes sense. Yeah. No, no, no. That was my attempt at the uh, fucking theme song. But Jesus Christ! I know, I know, yeah, I know what you mean. For some reason, the animated series. I can hear it in my head, but I cannot make the required notes. Yes. <laughs> it just sounds stupid. Um, but yeah, it's Moira. She is in the vein of. She's a healer, but she it's. She's like an offensive. She's basically like she's like utility offensive healer. It's really weird. And right. I think it's like she. I think like one power is like she heals with one beam, drains with another. So it's sort of like mercy on that front, but then can do it like. But then it's oh, like I thought you were still talking about the uh, the X Men character. Oh, oh god, no, sorry. <laughs> it was like she's util. You're talking about utility <laughs> healer. What's going on? Here? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Moira um, is. Utility healer thing. That's much of a description I can give on her. Well, none of us really play it, so if anyone wants to uh, chip in with a uh, little breakdown of the Overwatch thing. Oh, there mm-hmm. was also a Reinhardt short and a there new was. map announced. The Reinhardt short was. I, I saw parts of the episode, oh, yeah, parts of the Reinhardt short. He, he looks at a meadow and looks quite adorable. That's about as much as I can give you on the. Alright. On how much that's how much of the short I've watched. <laughs> oh, but anything else from BlizzCon? Is there anything for Heroes of the Storm? I imagine so. But I imagine so. It. I haven't seen anything. Uh, Let us know so. down below. Ooh. Because we don't care. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Heroes of the Storm. We uh... Diablo? There's probably someone else for Diablo. Oh, Christ. We, we, uh... We're not very good at this whole thing. We, we play one game each. Of Blizzard. Yeah. Destiny 2? Oh, there, there was there yeah. was Diablo. There was... I mean, there's Diablo news. I don't know if it's Diablo news from BlizzCon. Okay, well, that'll do. Season 12 has gone live. Okay, nice. So, okay. In other news... <laughs> yeah, all I don't Diablo know what fans. that means. <laughs> um, Ask Remy. Remy, what does that mean? <laughs> Let me send him an eye message. <laughs> Remy, what? I'm pretty sure. See, so season season are... twelve mean? Why is it similar fun. to the WoW like arena seasons? But that's at like yes. season eighty four now or something. Yeah, my rough like, have understanding I got news is. For you? <laughs> <laughs> my rough understanding of season is you basically you start a character from level one. Uh, you want to see how far you get. See how far you get, and then obviously you either die and. Start a new character and permanent. Oh, or... so it's on. It's on like. Um... Fuck, I can't remember what that game mode's called. Yeah, I know that's what you mean. Hardcore, probably. 
Yes. Yeah. It's it's yeah. It, or you kind of you see how many raids and like dungeon rifts you can do, and then there's leaderboards and stuff. Gotcha. Yeah. There okay, we go. Fair enough. That sounds like a laugh. That's right, baby. We are. We are. We are clued in on on BlizzCon news. Are we? Not for at all. WoW and for Hearthstone. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Both of which are yep. Warcraft. There's probably some other Starcraft thing as well. Oh God! Just, just stop, stop, please, con. <laughs> Imagine if yeah, every uh, single company had their own like conference. Oh God! <laughs> At least most of them just stick to E3. Yeah, I know, right? They... Well, I mean, most stick to E3, unless sure. Unless you're a PlayStation, then you sort of run your own one after E3, like, suck yeah. it. <laughs> On Nintendo, because they don't really oh, care God, about yeah. E3. Um, so, I... This is, this is something new we're trying. But, random Netflix show I have watched oh, recently. Oh, yeah! Something new we're trying from that episode we did a month ago. Yeah. I've watched a lot of Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Is it always sunny in Philadelphia? If there's anyone from Philadelphia watching, let us know. No, that can't be right. That. I've seen NFL games where it's raining or snowing in Philadelphia. I was going to say, it's not that, well, it's south from here, because I'm in fucking Canada, obviously, but it's not that far south. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's south, yes, Jim, I think most things, apart from Alaska, most things are south. <laughs> oh, have you know that I'm further north than... I forgot the name of the place. <laughs> I'm in Toronto, it. so I'm I'm further north than much of like um, Montana, stuff like that. Oh, I should be. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I should be. Your... I'm in the little bit that's further south than the uh, straight bit of the U.S. border. <laughs> I fucking know, all right. Geography is not our strong point. Um, yeah, so it's not it's not a Netflix show per se. In that it's just kind of it's one they've dumped on Netflix. It's just it's it's good. It's just really fucking weird. Is that the one with um thingy mobob in it? There's uh, many thingy mobs. Charlie Day. That's the one. Yes, it is. It is indeed. It is the one with Charlie Day. Rob. It's like McElhenney or McElhenney, I can't remember. And McElhenney? Glenn Howerton. McElhenney. 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 Is that how it's spelled? Macarena? Macarena. <laughs> but um, that is kind of. It's not the one with Danny DeVito, that's someone else, isn't it? Yes, it is. No, it's it the is exact that one. one as well. Ah. Yes. It's not he joins okay. in like season I four. And it, it's a show that is just, yeah, it's ridiculous. Worth a watch because it, it, it's hilarious, but it's it's ridiculous all the same. <laughs> That's oh. about as fun. It's kind of I I would give it if I had if I had to score it. Uh, it's Netflix ranking is like almost like almost, almost five sunny. stars. <laughs> I would give it um, uh, cl- cloudy in patches, <laughs> strong so, southern breezes. Yeah, so mostly sunny but cloudy in patches. It's mostly sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, I've been watching so you... our um, still been watching our future queen in suits. Ah, uh, and I need to watch suits. That's kind of. It's I only watch it is because it's filmed in my building. I recognise <laughs> it all the time and see it every week. Being I see the guys every week. So like you know what? I might as well give it a watch. You know, I see them walking around every day. That is a it. It's it's on my radar. Of things to watch, mostly because I just watch a lot of it during the day in the background. Uh huh. In the background. <laughs> um, it is in the background. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Don't. It is. In the foreground is you cooking noodles. More me making stocks. Oh <laughs> uh, yes, of course, for the noodles. Yes. But good news, as I, as I informed Terry today, this stock only took me eight hours. Not oh, it's of, 20... it's of good stock then, is that what you're saying? 
and not 27. So 27? <laughs> yeah, that's how long the pork took me to make. Fucking Christ, man. 27 hours making stock. I mean, I slept. I wasn't a madman who just sort of... I bloody hope was, so. <laughs> I was just in a rocking chair in it's front of me. Just a fucking me. laboratory in the kitchen. <laughs> it's like... Gastronomist, you know, Paul Ludlow. A, a rocking chair going, yes, my precious boil. No, I did like... Can't it's alive! Sleep, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I wasn't that insane. I mean, I'm a little bit insane, but not that insane. Dot, dot, dot. Yet. All I can say is thank fuck Nina can cook because I'm shit. <laughs> it's quite therapeutic. I'd recommend you trying it. I don't want to. That's the thing. I have no... I would suggest no don't do what I do and buy um, to. more cookbooks than you have shelf space for. I have more everything than I have space for at the minute. That's fair. Because I've only got a bloody room. I'm currently on like, I think I've got like 40 cookbooks to my name. I've just, it's become a weird obsession of mine. Get a job. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I wait to hear back from an interview, thank you very much. Uh-huh. For all you know, by the next podcast, I could be employed. Yeah, I fucking hope so. That'll be, that'll be, a, that, that's what we'll do at the summer episode. We'll do beverage of the broadcast, it's Paul employed. It'd be like the Greg's Festive Bake website. Yeah, Terry sent me that. <laughs> it's, 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 I it want, was brilliant. Please, can you think, find a way to send me a fucking festive bake? Um, I can try. Thank you. Much appreciated. Love you. If, if not, what it is, I'll get the festive bake, I'll break it down, and I'll send Nina the components of how to make you a festive bake. Ah, oh, excellent, yes. <laughs> but, That'll but, do me. But, I don't mind. <laughs> Put her to work for you. She's asked me everything that we usually do for Christmas. Maybe I should say that. <laughs> Go to Greg's and get a pie. <laughs> Not any pie. The, the current the, year's the festive, festive bake. bake pie. She'll be like, what is that? You'll be like, well, you best get Google it, love. Yes. Well. <laughs> hmm. this, is a, this is a deep thought. Yes. Well, I'm just thinking... Would anyone be willing to send me a food parcel of English stuff? I can, if you, if if I'm happy to do that. I was more talking to our listeners, obviously. When I said oh. would everyone, you're the only other person here. Oh, our listeners are also just you and me. So, yeah. So again, it's mostly just me. Yeah, you can send me if you if you want some stuff. Send me a list, dude. <laughs> I'll try. Well, I was hoping oh, that you would be out here next week, but you messed up. I did mess up. I did a boo boo. And on that bombshell, that's right, Top Gear, we're sitting on lines. We're coming for you. Um, see you in two weeks, listeners. Obviously not you, James. Yes. I'll see you before then. Um, well, see you in two weeks then, yes. for uh, character creation. What? Uh, I'm going to run you through building a character in D&D for two weeks' time. Oh, yay! Okay. So that we are, we are ready and... Because I think uh, I have, I have confidence. I have a one-person campaign ready to go, which can easily be expanded to a few more people. So I will we'll get awesome. some campaign action going. So yeah, yeah next yeah, time we hear us, James Steely will be building himself a character. Yes, bitchin. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, catch the usual places on Twitter. At... I am at oh, sorry, at Down to Flux. It's been a while <clears throat> on Twitter. Yes. At Down to Flux. Uh, catch James on Twitter at Jan Delay, and catch me on Twitter at Pludlow Twenty One. We all have two hundred and eighty characters. We're basically like the blue ticks now. <laughs> I'm gonna make use of them poorly. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Feel free to email us at down to flux ttf at gmail dot com or flux at ninjapancake dot com. Yeah, either or. I know, like I said, peace out. Speaking uh, of oh. Ninja Pancake, Paul. Speak, dang, nav it. <laughs> Speaking of Ninja Pancake, indeed. Uh, go check them out. They are, they are our big brothers. Do the whole spiel, Paul. <sighs> I forgot what the spiel is. We are jolly as 
whatever alcohol gin. we're trying to be drinking. Gin. We're Which English. Is, we are jolly as gin to be, part, <laughs> to be part of the Ninja Panic Family Podcast with such shows as Bob Claw Jackets, uh, Geeks Watch Radio, uh, oh shit, New Geekologist born. Radio. This has been a while. <laughs> uh, oh shit, it's been yeah, way too Yeah, we should get on, to, get on to Remy about actually like putting our podcast on the website again. Because he's probably forgotten who we are. <laughs> no, I, anyway. I will. I'll, I'll write this down for next time. Yeah, go check them out. They are. They have many good shows, and all of them are well worth a listen. And tell them we sent you. Please do. That would be nice. Please do, because then they'll love us more. Or at all. It's, it's, it's like a sweatshop here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Bye-bye>. God. <laughs>